Hi everybody, this is Jose Mojica from iFilm Flops and this month is all about the hand. We're uh, going to create an animated hand and the way that we're going about it is pretty cool. Uh, we're learning a lot of stuff. Uh, what we're trying to do is at the end come out with a 3D uh, representation of a hand that's fully animated and the way we're going about it is uh, first I created a plaster cast of my hand. So this is what it looks like. We used a product called Smooth On Starter Kit, uh, which uses AlgaSafe, I think is what it's called. And then you pour plaster into the cast that you make. And that's what comes out. It's actually pretty cool. It's not very expensive. Uh, I think it was like $25. And what comes out is pretty detailed. You can see a lot of detail, especially if I go over here. So. The next step is we plan to use a 3D scanner to turn this into an actual 3D model. But uh, and we have one in order, hasn't arrived. In the meantime, I found this program. Uh, it's an app for the iPhone called 123D Catch. And what it is, is like, it's, it's actually a free app uh, from Autodesk. And what you do is you go around the model and the software guides you through it and you take pictures of it and at the end it comes out with a 3D model for you. And this is what it looks like. This is a 3D model created with 123D Catch from Autodesk. It's a free app for the iPhone. And let me rotate a little bit. Now it's not perfect right now and I haven't done any cleanup uh, whatsoever here. Uh, as you can see it still preserves some of the detail. It's pretty cool. It definitely looks like a hand. And uh, it's amazing for a free app. You, know, you just go around, take pictures of any object, and it puts together a 3D model for you. So now we have a 3D model in Cinema 4D to work with. And the third piece of the puzzle is uh, this device called the Leap Motion Sensor. It sells at different stores. I believe I bought mine at Best Buy for $79.99. It's a pretty cool sensor. It lets you control your computer with your hands. Uh, it also has some virtual reality um, simulations and a couple of video games, I believe, that you can use the sensor with. But what we're using it for is motion capture. So if you look at this, when I put my hand on top, it can actually tell you where your fingers are. And I'm using a third-party software. I'll put some details about it in the comments. But this software lets me capture my movements and once you capture your motion uh, with the uh, leap motion sensor and export it what you get is a set of bones or joints that you can use in cinema 4d to apply to a model so i have already done that with this model and it's pretty rough right now i this is just basically importing it applying it and seeing as a proof of concept that this would work so I've gone ahead and applied it to the model that I've scanned and this is what it looks like. So it's still rough, there's a lot of cleanup to do, but this is pretty cool. So that's about it. Uh, next steps is we got to get a better model of the hand. So we're going to start over and just refine every little thing that we've done. Uh, we want to get something that's posed a little bit better and also get the wrist in there. Then we are going to texture it all so that it looks uh, more like the hand uh, from the t-shirt. And after that, we're going to uh, clean up the model some more, then uh, capture some more motion, uh, get some funny animations in there. And hopefully after we combine it all and clean it up at the end of the month, we'll have something cool to show you. So I'll try to post some more videos as I go along and uh, that's about it.